In this video, let us look into some of the terms related to an ellipse. All right, here we are uh, with the diagram of an ellipse, uh, completely labeled, if I have to say so, the parts of an ellipse. And those are some of the terms that are related to an ellipse, which are pretty fundamental and basic and also very important to solve problems based on an ellipse. All right, so here we are, the green line, the green curve represents an ellipse. Okay, in the previous video, we did see what is actually an ellipse. We did see the definition of an ellipse. I'm sure you've understood what is an ellipse. So in this video, what we're going to see is we're going to see the important parts of an ellipse. So the first and the foremost thing is the center of an ellipse. All right. And then the center of the ellipse lies in the intersection of these two black lines, which I will tell what it is now. The midpoint of the line segment joining the foci is called the center of the ellipse. So the, you know, this black line that joins the foci, the F1 and F2, the focuses, I mean, it's not called as focuses, the, pr the plural form of focus is called foci. The midpoint of this line that joins the foci is called at the center of an ellipse. And the, the line segment through the foci of the ellipse is called as the major axis, as mentioned here, it is called as the major axis. And the line segment through the center and perpendicular to the major axis is called as the minor axis. Here it is. So these two black lines are pretty important. AB is called as the major axis and CD is called as the minor axis. And the end points of the major axis are called the vertices of an ellipse. These, these points here, A and B, okay, these points are called as vertices. Of course, individually, they're called as vertex. Vertex is the plural form of vertex. So that's uh, pretty much it. These are the most important terms related to an ellipse. Uh, this video is not done yet because uh, we just have another quick uh, diagram uh, to be drawn. And uh, we're going to look into the length of the major axis, and length of the minor axis. How do you calculate that? So that's what we're going to do in another diagram here. All right, here we are. Uh, we've got another diagram here in which, of course, the green curve is the ellipse. It's a smaller version of this. In this uh, diagram, we are going to mainly look into the distances of the major axis, the major axis and the minor axis, and also the distance between the foci. So the distance between the center and one of the foci is C, and uh, the distance between the center and another foci is also C. So the distances of the foci from the center are equal, C and C. So the length between F1 and F2 is 2C. So say let's say F1, F2 equals to 2C. And let us come to the major axis. The major axis, if you see from one end, let's say this is A and this is B. So the length of AB or the major axis is given by the length of the major axis is 2 times A because from the center to one end of the major axis measures A from the center to the other end of the major axis also measures A. So the total distance between the two end points or the total distance of the major axis is 2A. And also, the distances from the center to the ends of, of each of the major axis are equal, or rather the, the end point, say OA is equal to o, o, OB. So the distance from A to O and the distance from B to O are equal. So that is, that is the major axis. Now let us come to the minor axis. Minor axis, also it's the same concept, just that it is denoted by the length of the minor axis is 2b. That is, uh, you know, it's b plus b, which makes it 2b. It is a vertical line, right? So again, let's say, let's name this uh, c and d. So cd measures 2b, and the distance from the center to c and the distance from the center to d are equal. So therefore, the total length of the minor axis, that is cod, is 2b, and the total length of the major axis aob is 2a and the distance between the foci is 2c, all right? So these three measurements are the most important as far as an ellipse is concerned. Uh, we do have a couple of more concepts to cover, of course, which we'll be doing in the forthcoming videos. But as far as this uh, video is concerned, uh, that's all you have to take away from this video. I mean, all you have to take away is the parts of an ellipse and uh, uh, what is the length of the major axis, what is the length of the minor axis, and what is the length of the line between the two foci, which is explained here. Alright, so that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on an ellipse.